So to recap what we've done so far, we've listed our internal and our external profitability drivers. Those are the factors that affect the profitability of our business. So our external profitability drivers are typically things that management has very little control over that come from outside of the business. We then listed our internal profitability drivers, which are those operational aspects within our business that we do have control over. Um, and we then itemized each of our internal profitability drivers to really get a sense of every single step in the process from the time we obtain our raw materials to the time that our finished goods are ready for sale to our customers. So the next stage in financial modeling is linking all aspects of the internal profitability drivers, linking all aspects of that chain together. And that's what we're going to do now in our operations tab. So we pull all of our drivers from our mining uh, production tab and our processing tab, and we link them together in such a way that it paints a picture of the beginning, the middle, and the end of our entire manufacturing process. So in this case, we mine the ore, the ore tons. We then send it to the processing plant, which records its throughput rate, the amount of hours that it works in the year, the amount of hours that it shuts down, its availability. And then we have the tons of copper that we actually do mill. And we have what's called a stockpile so that whatever is not milled in one year is left over and put back into the stockpile to be milled in subsequent years. So we model all of those steps in the process. And then we end up with the amount of copper that we actually produce as a mine. We would then list all of the costs. So we've got our direct costs, which is our labor, our energy, et cetera, et cetera. So you'd need to do this for your business. List all the costs that you can think of that you incur on a, a yearly, on an annual basis. And we itemize them in terms of our variable cost. And also we itemize them in terms of our fixed costs as well. Um, which are there, okay? So after we do that for our mining and our plant, we now have a total uh, direct costs which are linked to manufacturing. But one thing you need to bear in mind is there are other costs that also are incurred behind the scenes. Now, these are your general and administrative costs. So those are your head office, your management salaries, um, your IT information systems, uh, infrastructure, um, all of those costs. So what we have is our surface engineering, our sundry operating costs, and our admin and financial and human resources costs. The next step is also your realization cost. Now, this is the cost of getting your finished product to your customer. So at this point, I'm just going to pause, and we're just going to look at a schematic as to what a financial model really gives us, the information it really gives us. And that's best illustrated by means of this flow chart. And you can apply this to any business. It does not necessarily need to be mining. Um, you'd need to build your business if it's at that phase, which is the construction phase. You list all of the costs that you would incur in order to get your business off the ground. Okay. Then instead of mining and processing, if you run a separate fabrication business, you can just list all of the costs that you actually incur in actually getting your product from raw material phase to finished product phase. Okay. The next chain is your logistics chain. How do you actually get your product to your customer? And then finally, once the product is in your customer's hands, how long do they take to pay you? Is it 10 days? Is it immediate? Is it 30 days? And then underlying this entire process are your general and administrative costs. Uh, the people that work behind the scenes in order to enable this uh, chain to work efficiently. And once you've itemized all of these costs and drivers, revenue drivers as well, you can then make a calculation to say that this is the money coming in and the money going out. And does my business actually turn a net profit or a loss? Okay, so basically what's happening in this operations tab is just a, a numerical representation of that schematic diagram. So we go all the way from our mining all the way to our realization cost to the point where the copper reaches our end customer. And this capital expenditure section is just that construction cost. So building the actual mine itself. Um, so it's itemized in great detail, and the more detail that you put, 
the more accurate your model will be and the more helpful your model will be for you. And then lastly, we just have these uh, macroeconomic assumptions that are pulling from our economic assumptions tab. So we can then calculate our revenue, which is just a simple calculation of your copper tons sold multiplied by the price of copper to arrive at your total copper revenue and the same for gold, which leaves you with a gross revenue number. Okay. And uh, you can do the same with your costs. These are your total mining costs, total refining costs, and it gives you a sense of your total operating costs. So within this cell, you have basically summarized all of your external profitability drivers and internal profitability drivers, and you've linked all the chains of your business together to form a basic snapshot of what your revenue is looking like and what your expenses are looking like.